everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope you're doing fabulous this morning now we're going to be talking about a solar eclipse and of course we'll go into weather conditions later on in the video but a solar eclipse is going to be happening in 18 days on the 8th of april so it's going to be a total solar eclipse that uh, the path of totality the full eclipse will be visible through mexico the u.s and parts of canada but other areas in the surroundings are going to be witnessing a portion of the eclipse or a partial solar eclipse as well including the caribbean so i'm going to be delving into how much of it we're going to be seeing in the caribbean and the time as well again april 8th so what is a solar eclipse this happens when the sun moon and earth are perfectly aligned with each other and the moon casts its shadow on earth think of it as the sun someone walking in front of you and casting their shadow on you you can't see the sun anymore right because it's being blocked out by that person it's a similar thing going on with those three astronomical bodies out there so usually the moon sun and earth they're not perfectly aligned but when they are that is when we see eclipses both solar and lunar with lunar eclipses that happens when the earth uh, comes between the sun and the moon but we're focusing on the solar eclipse here and we can see the two shadows of the moon the umbra and the penumbra so persons within the umbral shadow that's a darker one those are the persons who will be seeing a total solar eclipse and uh, it's only a narrow strip of earth as we can see that uh, vibrant shade in right there those are the persons who will be witnessing the total solar eclipse provided that the weather is good because if it is a cloudy day unfortunately uh there isn't going to be much to see but hopefully for you if you're in the path of totality you're going to be seeing it again the path stretches through mexico u.s and towards canada now what will the caribbean see as i said we're going to be witnessing a partial solar eclipse and as suggested by the name it's only when a portion of the sun is being blocked out by the moon and there was one, uh, the last eclipse that we witnessed, solar eclipse, was October 14th last year. It was an annular solar eclipse, which is uh, when there's that beautiful ring of fire. The uh, moon is a bit too far away to completely uh, obscure the disk of the sun. So there's this beautiful ring of fire around it. There's no totality where it would seem as though the sun is completely gone. But we didn't see that. We saw a partial eclipse. And matter of fact, that partial eclipse was a lot more impressive compared to what we're going to be seeing and not everyone in the caribbean is going to be seeing this upcoming eclipse either so the southeastern islands which includes the windward islands uh, even curacao as well the guyanas most of venezuela won't be seeing this eclipse however let's get into who will so here we have a table and it's alphabetical but i uh, screenshotted the necessary countries in the caribbean so we've got anguilla there will be a partial solar eclipse so the dark part that is how much of the moon will be blocking out the sun and if you're not using the correct viewing equipment at the time it starts at 2 48 atlantic standard time so if you're not actually viewing with the equipment i mean the sun is super bright you're not even gonna know that there is a solar eclipse happening antigua barbuda similar thing here it starts 2 58 for you and will last until 3:57 atlantic standard time next aruba definitely a tiny 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 portion of it is going to be blocked out for you guys so the further we travel from uh, where the eclipse is actually going to be taking place the less of it we're going to be seeing so aruba very very slight difference in uh the sun's shape because you guys aren't going to be seeing much but it starts 2 46 atlantic standard time for you and i uh, will last less than an hour for you guys by the way belize 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 you guys will get a pretty good view of the current view and equipment partial solar eclipse we can see that uh, a good portion of the sun is going to be blocked out by the moon and it starts at 11 13 cst and uh, with these different times you can actually convert them to your local time online to see when exactly it's going to be starting for you bermuda bermuda will also be seeing a good portion of the eclipse and uh, the British Virgin Islands, not going to be seeing that much again. It's in the northeastern Caribbean, which won't be witnessing too much of it. The Cayman Islands, though, there will be a portion of the sun blocked out for you, a decent portion at that. However, uh, the eclipse may not even be that noticeable. 
uh, at peak unless you are looking out for it and you actually see it with the correct viewing equipment and i mentioned in viewing equipment and i'm going to be showing you guys the method that i used to capture last year's eclipse colombia down in south america you guys are going to be seeing a little portion of it as well cuba a good amount of the sun is going to be blocked out for you curacao it's not going to be much of a difference honestly uh same story for dominica and the dominican republic is going to be seeing a little portion of the sun being blocked out Guadalupe, not going to be seeing too much of it. Guatemala, so that's in Central America. Guatemala is going to be seeing a decent amount of the sun being blocked out. Haiti, nothing crazy impressive. Honduras, uh, something a little bit similar to Guatemala, but you guys will be seeing a little bit less coverage. Jamaica, this is going to be the maximum view for us here. Uh, I believe a little bit more of the sun is going to be blocked out from Montego Bay because we're on the, we're in the west. So, uh, Areas such as Kingston, St. Andrew, Portland are in the east. So uh, they're going to be seeing slightly less coverage compared to areas such as Hanover and St. James. Next, we have Puerto Rico. Not going to be seeing too much in uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. Nothing crazy. St. Martin, same story. Decent amount of coverage for the Bahamas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Nothing too crazy. But there will be a partial eclipse nonetheless. So there we can see it, guys. Uh, portions of the Caribbean will be witnessing a partial solar eclipse uh, from what is expected on April 8th. Now, this is what I captured last year on October 14th. These are some of the videos. Now, how did I achieve this? Well, I used a very, very inexpensive method. So... I paid around a hundred Jamaican dollars or so for a little piece. Well, not a very little piece. I actually got a decent amount of it that could be used for many eclipses in the future. But I got some window tint. You know, the tint used for uh, vehicles. I got a bit of that and I layered it a few times and secured it with tape. Now that is going to be filtering out a lot of the sunlight because as I mentioned, the sun is a very bright i mean it's a very bright astronomical body so once you get that uh and i did this video this morning just to show you guys uh what i did with my camera so i got my camera and i ensured that i had the tint kind of flattened and placed on the lens of the camera and when we look through it there we can see the sun not so bright you can actually see that ball of it out there without all of those rays so uh, that's the method i used again very very inexpensive very very easy and uh, even some of the devices the camera may not even be that top notch because even with my regular camera the only time i saw the partial eclipse last year was when a little bit of uh, a little piece of cloud was passing by but aside from that it was very difficult to see so once you have a decent camera and uh, you get the tint, you put it over it, you're going to be able to see the partial eclipse. And I did not at any point look at the sun with my naked eyes. You're completely discouraged from doing that because you risk damaging your eye tissue. So please do not look at the sun. I know many people do it and they may look away. Some people say, oh, they always do it whenever their eclipse is and nothing happens. You are risking damaging your eyes. So... Uh, that is what I use, guys, and you can use that method as well. Again, very, very simple, very easy. But that is pretty much it in terms of the solar eclipse. As it relates to weather conditions across the Atlantic, there is a frontal system moving out. Another is developing. There we see all those thunderstorms in the Gulf and parts of Texas, and that is only going to uh, intensify over the coming days. And there's going to be a lot of activity moving through Florida, the Bahamas, and even for Cuba as well. Winds are going to be kicking up, uh, and there's likely to be a lot of heavy rain, which may even trigger flooding. But this is the rainfall forecast for today. We can see uh, that much is not really expected across most of the Caribbean but there could be some showers especially this afternoon across the greater Antilles and toward parts of Central America Colombia but uh, elsewhere there may be a few passing showers here and there maybe mostly on the dry side for the northern and central Bahamas so I'll be talking more about that upcoming system as we get into the next couple of days. And so that is pretty much it for this update video. I hope you found it to be very informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.